Hey, welcome back to the Filmmaker's Formula. I'm Kevin, and you're watching Guilty Wednesdays. This is where I steal a cool effect from a popular video so you can add it to your arsenal of editing techniques. Today, we're looking at Shazam. I thought Shazam was one of the music finding apps. I mean, is, it, is it based on that? Okay, it says here that Shazam is an acronym for Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles heel, Achilles and Mercury. Also the magic word for when this boy wants to go full superhero. Shazam! In 1940s, it was more popular than Superman. Huh. On to the video. So for the parts you have to capture on camera, there are two parts, the leaping and the flying away. So let's go film that right now in the green room. Before we shoot anything, we are indeed shooting at 60 FPS, so we can slow it down later. Now, although the trailer looks like they shot in low light, we will still have to light the green screen. And on top of that, I'm just gonna set up a really dim key light so we can preserve some of those details. And what I'm gonna be using for the key light is just this um, ring light that I have and this pop-up softbox people use for flash photography. It's like $20. And all I'm gonna do is put this in here. And there you go. Softbox. As always, it's always good to get multiple takes because you aren't ever gonna get it right the first time. On top of that, with a small green screen, you want to take with your full body that's in frame. So it's good to keep the camera rolling. Who knew filmmaking could be such a workout? Now I gotta film the part where I uh, leap into the sky. As for the jump in the sky part, for the technique we're going for, you just need one frame with you holding the Superman pose. So you don't actually have to jump. Let's head back to the editing bay. <sighs> Hey, give me, give me a sec. Bum, 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 bum. If I were to break down this effect in parts, I'd say there are three main parts. The lightning, the smoke explosion, and the smoke trail. So that's what we have to figure out how to do. There's a default lightning effect in After Effects. And to find that, you can just type in lightning. That will give you a very basic zap. And with this effect, you can even change the size, the color, the turbulence or noise of the lightning as well. So that's really useful when you have those little zaps that you want to replicate. Your phone's charged. The hell? For the smoke effects and places to get stock footage, we've talked about uh, video copilot and action VFX. A new one I recently found was called Footage Crate, so be sure to check that one out. I'll be using a couple elements from them today. Remember when I said we shot at 60 FPS? Well, now's the time to slow that down. Slow down the beginning part for when you jump so we can have that lightning strike you just in time. And instead of masking out the lightning like you normally would, there is an effect called linear wipe that you can use. And all that does is to let you slowly reveal your lightning bolt. On to the part where we fly away. Because we can't actually fly, we will need to give the illusion of flying. And to do that, you want to find the peak of you jumping into the sky. Set a freeze frame on that. From that, we will be moving the whole image so it looks like you're flying. And of course, you can control how fast you fly by having shorter or or longer keyframes. Overlay the stock footage of your smoke explosions and smoke trails. For the smoke trails, you should look for something like a meteor shower or a shooting star, and you should find something soon. Something to keep in mind is that with every effect you decide to add in your video, there should be an equal environmental reaction. In the case of lightning, you should get a huge glow around everything. And to do that, I just imported a solid, masked out the shape of lightning bolt, and increased the feather. I added a glow effect on that, and you will have that. For objects in motion, I always like to add a directional blur to them because the human eye can't normally see fast moving objects. Get an appropriate background of a night sky and then you will have this. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't seen my Spider-Man video from last week, be sure to check that one out. Leave any questions you have for me in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until the next video, shazam.